So these are five tips. I'm, I don't know, I'm such a hamper. It will also make sure that your student loans are paid timely and that as soon as you get paid, that money's already going to Sally Mae. Hey, beautiful people, it's me, Melissa Nicole, coming to you all again today to talk to about a topic that is very near and dear. Student loan debt. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so yes, today's topic is student loan debt. How I paid off $25,653.32 to be exact in just 11 months, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna explain to you all how exactly I did that. So the first word that comes to mind in order for me to get this done is sacrifice. Yes, sacrifice. I had to sacrifice my time, my sleep, my body, and my precious shopping habit. Well, according to my husband, you know, you love to shop. Well, it is what it is. I do love to shop, but I can honestly say I'm a diva on a budget, okay? So we always looking for them sales. So anywho, I got my <laughs> bachelor's degree from Temple University, go Owls, in 2011. And then I went on to St. Joseph's University where I got my master's in health administration in 2014. So yeah, so I got those two degrees and then I finally decided that it was time for me to pay off the student loan debt because the hubby and I, we were looking to purchase our first home. So in doing that, you know, we got married in 2015. The first six months of our marriage, you know, my career was a little touch and go. You know, out here, I was trying to find my way out here in these corporate streets. So eventually, <laughs> when I got my second uh, director of health information management position, it came back to me like, okay, maybe I can really honestly and truly get these student loans paid off and be done with it. Because I refuse to be one of those people to go into my golden years still paying off student loan debt. No, we just ain't going to do that, okay? No, 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 Sally Bay. So anyway... I've been working in retail since I was 14. So I said, okay, well, you know what? The supermarket that's five minutes away from my job is currently hiring. They were having a national hiring day. As I said, I've been working in retail since I was 14. You know, I have a great neck for customer service. I'm very exceptional in that area, if I must say so myself. So anyway, I said, you know what? It's worth a shot. You know, me getting a second job won't kill me. The quicker I do this, the quicker I can pay these student loans down. So I did just that. So I went in for the interview, got hired on the spot, because as I said, your girl has a neck for customer service. So what I did was I actually worked about, about four days a week. I did two um, night shifts, two five-hour shifts, two nights a week, and then I worked every Saturday and Sunday for eight hours until those student loans were paid off. That's right, eight hours. So not only, as I mentioned, I said I sacrificed my time and my body, okay? But those, those backs and body aches were well worth it. So with that, I was making about $15 per hour. So instead of me looking at this extra job as, oh, this is play money, I just took all the money that I made from that and I would just throw that straight to my student loan. So me and my husband, we had discussed this with our financial advisor, you know, what I could realistically do. So there are five tips that I'm gonna share with you so you too can have your student loans paid off in no time. Be like, okay, I did that. So tip number one. Make sure you have a plan. We gotta go old school with this. Take a pen and a pad out and write down your goals. When do you wanna have your student loans paid off by? And then slowly start to work backwards from that personal deadline that you set for yourself. Tip number two, sign up for auto pay. Yes, signing up for auto pay will one, not only save you on interest, it will also make sure that your student loans are paid timely and that as soon as you get paid, that money's already going to Sally Mae. So you don't have to worry about, okay, I gotta transfer this, transfer that. There won't be any excuses, okay? Just make sure you at least do that for your monthly payments because you don't want to default or you don't want to miss a payment. So make sure you sign up, okay? Plus that saving that interest, that means we can save more money. That extra money can also go towards the principal. Tip number three, make sure you pay the student loan with the highest interest rate first. Yes, we have to think of it just as how we do with our credit cards. You always want to go with the highest one first. Okay, and then work your way back down to the lowest. So tip number four, you want to make sure that if you have any additional payments that you can make, that they go directly to the principal. One, that'll save you money in the long run. And then number two, making sure you go online and put it directly to the principal and will for sure not go to the interest. Your monthly payments, when those are coming out in auto pay, that includes both the principal and the interest. 
So, and that is a big no-no, okay? We do that for the auto pay, but if we're doing additional payments, you want to make sure it's going directly to the principal because that will help you save money. And yet again, we're trying to get these student loans paid off ASAP. And then the fifth and final step is to just buckle down. Stay focused, okay? 11 months, it's almost took me a year to pay it off, but look at it now. I'm, I'm running in these streets free. <laughs> Don't have to worry about those student loans. So just buckle down for this year or two years. If it does happen to take you that longer, just buckle down and stay focused because you definitely can do it. I'm here to tell you that you can do it because I did it, okay? And you want to do it too, so then you can say, okay, we did that. I hope that these tips are helpful for you. I also have a blog, melissanicole.com. You can also visit my website and see how I break these tips down. You can also see I have a whole chart where you can see how much I paid per month until these student loans were paid off. So yeah, so I hope this was helpful. Again, if you like it, comment, like, subscribe, share. And until next time, have a good one, beautiful people.